Well, there it is. Right for the taking. Let's go get it. Okay, I go install a mower to end up finding another mower. For free. Uh, if you guys are interested, stay tuned. Let's start turning some wrenches. Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is John and my friends call me Turning Wrenches 85 here. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's doing good so far today. Uh, today's video, uh, uh, I'm having to redo it in a way, so I'm going to bring you guys up to speed. I don't know what happened. I was trying to edit it and somehow I was trying to make room, room in my memory card and I ended up deleting uh, part of the video where I got this mower so I'm having to redo it again so I'm gonna try to get you guys up to speed because uh, I picked it up this is March 1st as I'm recording this um, this part but the part you're gonna see afterwards is from March 27th there so uh, when I started working on it so uh, I just wanted to bring you guys a little bit up to speed of uh, actually no it's not March 27th I think it was uh, a couple weeks before then because it was a little bit cooler out than, than, than what it is today. But anyway, I'm going to show you guys this mower I picked up. And then I'm going to bring you guys up to speed uh, what I was going to do, do then. So you guys will know what's going on. So you guys might see two different parts of this this video here. Uh, like I said, well, I was trying to make room in my memory card. And for some reason I deleted that part. So I'm having to do it all over again. So bring you guys up to speed of this mower right here. So uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like, and then I'm going to show you guys what I do to diagnostic. So here it is. This is the mower here. Uh, it was on Facebook Marketplace. It was um, listed as free, needs repair. Uh, this is the way it looked uh, there when I got it. He, um, there, the, I don't know what's going on. What was going on with that situation that the spark plug was pulled out there, and of course it's missing a screw, and of course the knob for the adjuster is, you know, for the handle bolt is cracked. So I'm gonna have to try to repair that somehow if I can get that off of there. Uh, I do know it's got a little bit of good compression, and the oil is. We gotta check. It's gotta be the oil's gotta be checked on it. Uh, it's gotta check for spark, and we're just gonna make sure if it turns over. So I think I covered everything it needs. Like I said, it'll pull over. I pulled it over once when I picked it up there at that time. So the only thing it needs to be really done is you're gonna see the next segment where I check the oil and I check the spark plug and. Uh, we try to see if it pulls over. So uh, I'm gonna I brought you guys up a little bit more up to speed. Uh, what's going on? So like I said, the next video is the is a little different uh, setting for right now. But I just wanted to bring you guys up to what's going on with it. There, since I'm having to redo this again because I lost the footage from it. So I'm just gonna show you guys what's going on. Uh, the next part you'll see is me checking the oil, and we'll go from there. So. See you guys soon in a few seconds. All right, let's check the oil. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Cause I got something that resembles oil. All right, it's dark. Let's check it again. Oil dipstick tube is loose. Okay, well got oil but it's dark so it needs an oil change that's for sure I've not pulled well like I said I only pulled it over just to see if it had compression but I didn't go any further after that I think I only pulled it over once so um, <laughs> let's um, let's get the spark plug off first and uh, Let's do it that way. Let's see how how good it pulls over. So let me go get uh, let me go get a spark plug wrench 
and uh, bring you guys back. I forgot to bring it with me. Okay, I got my spark plug wrench. Sorry about all that. I didn't bring it all with me. So, uh, I'm going to, we're gonna, like I said, we're going to do the, like I said, I have not tried to start it. I got carb spray here, but I have not tried to start it. I want to see what the spark plug looks like because it's rusty on here. I've got the Champion uh, RC12YC. So let's see. Oh. Well, that's a little carboned up. A little rusty, too. Hmm. So it's been burning rich. Not big and rich, but burning rich. Look at that. Look at that carbon. And there you guys can see that. Hang on, let me get you. Let me get out of the light there. See? Look at that. That's that's a lot of carbon on there. Oh. Okay. Let's. Um. Let me. Oh wait a minute. I gotta hook the cable up. That's no big deal. Let me do that right now. Like I said, I unhooked it when I got uh got the mower because the guy. The people had the handle. Um, that's gotta be something's gotta be fixed, but that's neither here or there. First, we gotta see if this thing runs. We don't need that there anymore. Let's get this. Of course, you know, I'm trying to put this on here, now it doesn't want to go on here. Okay. The cable works on it, that's a plus. Yeah. I can put enough tape on here. Jeez. Okay, let's, let's pull it over, see how it sounds. By hand, let me get a brake holder. Okay, got this. Let's just pull it over by hand. The cable works. Let's just see how it sounds. Recoil's a little slow, but I, you can spray some WD-40 on that. That's no big deal. I don't hear some. I don't hear no knocking. Okay, so what do you guys think? Should I... Try to get that bracket off of there? We need to. Let's, uh, let's pull that bracket off of there. I'm going to pinch out that fuel line. So let me go get that. I just need pliers. Let's see. Pliers. Pinch out the fuel line, get my uh, hemostats, and we'll go from there. I don't know. There's there any fuel in there? Let's look. There is. There is something. It doesn't smell that good. I mean, it smells all right, but we're gonna pinch it off anyway. We're gonna go on the. The limb saying it's not fresh gas. So uh, let me bring you guys back in a second. Let me go get them all my tools. And uh, we'll get set up here and we'll try to see if this thing will crank over. Okay, I got all the tools with me. I got hemostats. I got my uh, impact because we're going to pull that. Just going to pull this air co filter cover off. And we're going to see what's going on here. Like I said, uh, it's uh, usually eights and sevens to take this off, or you know, metric you want to go five sixteenths or five thirty seconds. So, well, 
well. That's the problem. You can still see some white in there. That's the funny part about it. Wow, look at this. Hang on, I'm going to show you this. Yeah, let me get you guys here for a minute. Bring you guys out there, look. I don't know if you guys can see it. I saw some part in here that had light. Look at that filter though, good lord. Wait a minute, there we go, look. There is some light, not much. But anyway, that's neither here or there. That's a new, I got plenty of those filters I ordered. Well actually, I picked some up. I have to do a video on that one. I picked up some last year at my work for cheap. Um, let's get this base off of here real quick. I'm not going to repair this right now. I just want to see. It's more of a diagnostic here and see. I'll get that off there. It's eight. Sevens. And get that air cleaner cover off. I'm surprised this is not bent. Anyway, let's put these screws over here. Don't lose your hardware. Missing a, missing a screw. Probably rolled underneath here. No. Nope. Is this here still on the cover huh, okay I lost the screw okay well, we'll find it it's neither here or there um let's take the hemostats here see if I can pinch out this fuel line like I said hemostats I, I'm list I listen to you guys I just didn't listen when I did the other video so okay that's pinched off um now can I get this carburetor off okay it's off okay you guys here I'm gonna show you I just put, pulled it off of there so there we go it's off I'm like, oh hello sorry Sorry. Okay, it's off. You guys, where you can see it, there. Pulled it off of there. See, it's off. The oil rings are sitting there. So, let's put you guys right there. I'm gonna spray some carb spray in there. And we're going to see how this thing sounds. Because it's going to have no gas going through it. All it's going to be is the carb spray. And it looks like the oil is... Well, it's black. It needs to be changed. But that's neither here or there. We need to find out if this engine's even worth... Even worth fixing. So, I'm going to spray in the intake tube. Oh, I'm going to have to put that spark plug back. It ain't gonna fire if you don't put the spark plug back, but it probably won't fire with it. So let me just let me thread it back in here real quick. Sorry, the spark plug is giving me a... Oh, I'm going back in there. There we go. I'm probably going to have to spray some more carburetor spray in there since I'm wasting time with the spark plug. I should have put it back on there. I'm not going to tighten it down all the way. 
I'm just gonna tighten it up enough. Okay, lock that back up. Let me spray back more carburetor spray in there since I wasted time. Well, let's try it first and see. Let me get you guys in the best angle here so you guys can watch. Get you guys there. There we go. Let's see what it does. If it'll do anything. Okay, so it's got a little bit of a shake. Okay. Let's have a little bit of a backfire too. Let's try it one more time. Spray in the intake tube. Okay. Try it again. Okay. I think the blade. Shoot. Well, it didn't sound too bad, but of course it's going to backfire because of the. So, let me look at the blade and see if it's straight. It kind of shook a little bit. Now that got that part's got me worried. So, let's look at the blade real quick while we're here. Point you guys down. Let me move everything out of the way. Okay, so the, it's tied back. Let me move this out of the way. Let's look. I'm going to watch. Well, there's a lot of grass and dirt, so. Uh, look straight from there, and it looks straight from there. So. It don't look like the blade bent, no. I'm gonna watch one thing here. No, the blade's not bent. Okay. All right, so maybe we got a good one here. Like I said, I didn't see it. Unless you guys see it, you guys let me know. watching. I'm going to watch this one part of dirt. No, it's lining up. Okay, so this is probably needs sharpening and it's probably out of balance, which is nothing new. Okay, so we're looking at a 2012 on this engine. Okay, so uh, yeah, maybe got a good runner here. Uh, so we need to fix the carburetor. Probably I'm gonna go ahead and clean it, and I'll we'll do torch tip cleaners. We'll get in there and clean it out. We'll go through it all. It's auto choke. Uh, we need to fix. I do got those bolt handles like this one, but I'm gonna I got a plastic welder. I'm gonna try to fix that first before we uh, worry about replacing it. So, I think that's where we're at on it. I don't think see anything else we need to do. I know the height adjuster here is not working in the front. It's up on its highest point. Let's see if it moves. It's stuck. Okay, so we gotta, we gotta fix that as well. Okay. So it looks like the next video we try to do on this, we're going to try to fix the carburetor bracket. We'll fix that. We'll go through the carburetor and we'll fix the height issue here. This one's working, it looks like. Okay, so the back ones are working. So it's just the front ones acting up. And then we got to fix that.
Oh, excuse me. And then we gotta fix that uh, uh, wing nut bolt handle. So, uh, yeah, I think this one's gonna be a runner. And I'm gonna switch out the spark plug too, or at least maybe if I got a better one to put on there then. So, well, let's, good diagnostic video, so let's end it right here. Alright guys, that ends this video here on this diagnostic, here on this uh, free uh, yard machines uh, with the 550 EX engine. Uh, yeah, it's low in oil, it's dirty, so we'll have to change that. Uh, sharpen the blade, fix the height adjustment, fix that uh, handle wing nut here that's bolted on, fix that issue, and we need to fix the, the bracket here on this carburetor there, so... Um, I know on my previous videos, uh, especially on the, the Murray 450, uh, I probably should have done a little bit better. I read through the comments there, so I know I'm a little ahead on videos here, so I'm just letting you guys know ahead of time. I apologize. I, I, I never thought about my torch tip cleaners. I got them. I just never thought about using them. And I didn't think about it when the jets were acting up on the, on the carburetor. On that Murray, I didn't think about using it. And then, thanks, uh, Chris Small Engines. Uh, he commented on one of the videos, you know, telling me about viewing that. And uh, and then, of course, you know, right there, what I just did right there, I took off the fuel line, I pinched it off, and we we tried to see if it run on its own without this gas, because we don't know if this gas is any good or not, and I'm not going to find out. So. We're, I'm going to leave it off of there for right now until then. So, um, of course, it's going to be, it's got to be cleaned up. So, we're going to get this thing cleaned up. And I wish I had a bag for it, but it never came with a bag. Uh, that's the unfortunate thing about some of these mowers you pick up. They don't have the bags with them. And, of course, when you try to sell them on, you know, people want the bag with it. And you don't have it. So, it kind of cuts down on your resale on it. And you don't have it but uh, I mean it's a decent mower uh, they cut pretty good there so uh, these uh I mean the engines I you know I know they're not that very good but you know they cut the, the lawnmower itself it cuts pretty good there so um, I want to thank you guys for watching this uh, I don't know when you guys are gonna see this maybe sometime a little bit in, in April uh, just depends like I said, I'm ahead on videos right now, so uh, as, as you guys are watching right now, I'm repairing this, and hopefully enough, I'll get it sold by the time the second video comes out for you guys to watch it. I uh, mean, after I work on it, there. So um, I want to appreciate you guys for uh, watching here. I, I, I appreciate all the support uh, very much there, and. Um, if you guys like this video today give me a thumbs up there if you guys are new to the channel think about subscribing to the channel there I, I appreciate it very much there check out everybody else in our small engine nation community there as well I got some good channels as t uh, as well and um, I'm gonna get on out of here it's cold out here today at the filming of this video it's 38 degrees out here at, at almost five o'clock in the afternoon there so I'm gonna stop right now I'm gonna go in and warm up I'm gonna go put this up and then stay tuned for part two on this one uh, well is it part one or is it part two it'll be part one hopefully enough there's only one part episode on this one Get, getting this one fixed so anyway I appreciate you guys watching as always keep on turning those wrenches y'all see you guys on the next video y'all take care